In this video, we're going to unpack the progression of a number line in grades kindergarten through second grade. Now, when students come to us in kindergarten, they know that there's these names, number names, but they might not know the order. So as we're practicing rote counting, we might have students take number tiles such as this and go ahead and place them in order. And here is where students begin to build this conceptual idea of using a number line. It's a really powerful tool because it's a tool that's scalable through all the grade levels. But here, as they place down the number tiles, this is a type of number line, but it's called a number path, where each square represents a quantity. This can also be scaled up into a hundreds chart as well. So after students have played around with this number path and recognizing that each square represents a quantity, we begin to remove the squares of the number path and replace it with a partitioned number line. Here is where many students begin that exploration, but it needs to start with the number path before we get to the partitioned number line. And we use partition number lines when we practice counting with students to focus and hone in on that one-to-one -one correspondence. Then we gradually begin to move the one-to-one -one correspondence of the partitioned number line and implement and use benchmarks. Here you can see that we've now gone way beyond numbers through 20, but it doesn't start in first and second grade. Maybe we use those benchmark understandings towards the end of kindergarten and first grade. So this is a number line. And how can we use this into and scale this into operations with number lines? Well, in first grade, when students are beginning to unpack that idea of the associative property and making a 10, they might use a number line to model nine plus seven. Here, what students are doing is they're associating one from the seven, giving it to the nine to make a 10, and then they jump that left over six to get to 16. This is a really abstract understanding for students, but maybe they don't start with this on an open number line. And this thinking scales up into multi-digit computation in second grade, where students might be adding 190 plus 80. Here we make a jump of 10 and a jump of 70, and that gets us to 270. But it also works with subtraction. And it's important that students see that a number line can work in both ways. So here we have 235 and we want to count back 160. Well, our first jump is back 100, which gets us to 135. Then we use 30 from our 60 gets us to 100. Another 30 back gets us to 75. And that one left over gets us to 74.